Alrighty, so it's time to peel this little butternut squash. Um, I have a paper towel underneath because once you peel the outside skin, it tends to get a little slippery and I don't want it slipping out of my hand and cutting myself or falling on the floor because you know Moses will be right behind it trying to eat it. So let's peel it. So I'm going to cut the bottom off so it's nice and stable. I'm going to use a sharp knife and the top and then peel the rest. And cut it in half, scoop out the seeds which are in this portion of the um, squash. This is all solid up to here probably and this is where the seeds are. And I'll show you what it looks like inside. Alright, see how it starts to glisten as I cut that off? So, there you go. You can see that. So I'm going to place it so it's stable and then I'm going to peel the skin. Alright, so it's peeled and all my knuckles are intact. Look at that. I've heard professional chefs say that they <laughs> despise peeling butternut squash. I and my sisters even said she's gone through the efforts of just buying the squash already diced up. And to be, oh, I missed a little piece. And to be honest, I understand what it's like because it's pretty tough. And that's why it lasts as long as it does because it has its own protective seal. And the moment I busted into it, Moses is standing next to me because he could smell it. So the peelings are going to go to the chickens tomorrow. And I'm going to dice this up and then make the sauce, which it's going to uh, roast in using dill, grapeseed oil, and some garlic. Mmm, yum. So there it is cut in half. I've cut off the top portion, which is solid. And then this is the part that's going to get scooped out. But I'm going to save that and give that to the chickens as well. It's little seed treats. And then dice up the rest and... Maybe give Moses a tiny little piece. He's just literally standing there begging for it. I know I've shared this tip before. Whenever you use a knife on your cutting board, face the blade away from yourself because you you'd be amazed at how easy it is to forget and graze your hand across it. And if you have effective knives, your knives are sharp. So I was scooping out the center with a spoon. So that's what's going to the chickens. And Every time I cut into the flesh, oh sorry, the flesh of the butternut squash, it smells like watermelon. It's got the most scrumptious, like fresh fruit smell. It's so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. And Moses has not really left my side because his sense of smell is ten times better than mine. And he's like, Mommy, you're gonna give me a piece, I'm gonna cut him a little thin sliver and so he can enjoy that. Mosey, would you like a piece? Oh my gosh, he's been waiting for that. Alright, so it's time to make the flavored oil. I'm going to use the last of the grapeseed oil I have. I'm going to use my bullet. My, where's my... Yeah, I'm going to use my small bullet, grab garlic, uh, some seasoning, and then drizzle it over this and roast it in the oven. I have the oven preheating at 425, which is perfect. And then I'm going to clean some greens because I'm going to serve this over a bed of a while, um, baby greens with some sliced cucumbers and some uh, cipollini onions. And then I'm going to toast up some, some um, pecans, which will be the nice crunch. I've shared before that I love dill, so I've put dill, two garlic cloves, a tablespoon of this no salt seasoning. Original, original blend. There you go. And I store my dill in a fresh paper towel after each use so it wicks away the moisture. It lasts much longer and the stems are going to go to the chickens. And I've left a couple of frongs out for decorating the top of the salad. So let's blend this up and then uh, put it on the squash. It smells so good. <laughs> So it's going to be beautiful colors. So here we go. Try to start off with that. Let's see if I need any more. I'll probably use all of it. Not to worry, I'm going to use my scraper and get the rest of that out too. Well, there it is on the pan going in the oven. I did sprinkle a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper and... I grabbed a few sprigs of thyme from the garden and they're just sprinkled throughout. So I'm going to check in about 10-15 minutes, um, turn them over probably with a large spatula or just shake the pan and uh, hopefully it gets nice and caramelized. So let's pop it in the oven, 425 Fahrenheit. 
So while the butternut squash is roasting, I'm going to take some pecans. Oh, sorry, focus. Uh, a little, okay, a generous helping of coconut oil. And then I'm going to toast up the pecans and then sprinkle them with five spice. Let's see. Probably about half a teaspoon or so. I don't want to overwhelm it. It's a very potent combination. Let me see what's in there. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, anise. Uh, ginger, nutmeg, and clove. So, yeah. All the things I like the least, but I am stretching my culinary muscles and trying something different. So, let's see. They should be melting shortly. The pan turned on, just the spoon resting in there, so it all melts. Coconut oil melts at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at these beautiful baby lettuces. So, I'm going to use them as the base of our salad. I'm using the same bowl that I had the butternut squash in. There's nothing wrong with that. Some of that um, oil and um, dill and seasonings already in there. I'm going to use some mini cukes, uh, some scallions, some radishes. And then on top, on each plate, I'll place the roasted... Oh, I hear them sizzling in the oven. So, yeah. Oh, can't wait. I mean, sometimes you get excited by your food. So I have a little bit of reserved dill and thyme and a couple of fronds of dill for decorations. And I have my ever-present friend. Hello, Mosmos. Salad's done, it's just resting. Well, just hanging out. And I've uh, turned the butternut squash. And I think it's gonna go another maybe eight to 10 minutes and then I'll take it out, let it come to room temperature and then I can marry it with a salad and the toasted uh, pecans. And Moses is cooing next to me. That's Moses making all that sound. That's dinner. A big wild green salad with baby uh, European cukes and white onions, scallions, and roasted butternut squash with the toasted pecans that have the five spice that I don't like, but they turn out pretty good. So we're gonna go eat dinner. I can't wait to see what you guys create with these four ingredients and how you embellish them. And if there are any butternut squash cubes left, they'll be my soup tomorrow, which will be leftovers. Thanks for watching, everyone.